Whiskey making, start to finish, it starts with our boiler tub filled with water. It's gotta be heated, it doesn't have to be quite too boiling, but pretty close. So next we're gonna go to, to our barrel uh, that will be used for mashing. Uh, we're gonna start with some of that hot water uh, in the barrel, uh, and then we are going to add some of our corn to that. And we're going to, to soak that corn. And it's almost like if you've ever made gravy, uh, it's kind of like starting out that gravy process. And so we're gonna get that good and soaked, and then we're gonna start from there to gradually add continuously water and Grain. Hopefully we can get that mixed really well uh, with as few lumps as possible. We're, we're going to combine those gradually and continue to stir until the grain and the water are pretty much spent. We'll incorporate our mash rakes uh, and so it's got to cool down uh, to the point that we can introduce the malt. The enzymes in the malt uh, when exposed to that temperature of water will convert the starch to sugar uh, and that will be what really spurs along our fermentation. So once we get to that point, we can add the malt, but it, the mash still has to come down in temperature. And the absolute highest we can do the next step is, is 95 degrees. It optimally should be lower than that. Uh, but at that point, that's when we can introduce our yeast. It's in a liquid form, uh, not a powdered form like you might see from the brew store uh, today. And the yeast is what will act with the malt, which has now had its uh, starches converted into fermentable sugar. And with all that other stuff, it'll start to eat that sugar uh, and produce alcohol. At that point, the mash goes from the barrel to the still. The top part of the still, which we call the onion, is removed from the still at this point. Uh, and just like we bucketed water from the boiler tub to the barrel, we now bucket the mash from the barrel to the still. After all of the mash has gone into the still, we fix the onion uh, to the top of the still. So if we do everything right, the mash will start to cook, the alcohol will start to evaporate in the top, and it'll start to run down the arm of the onion to the worm. There's three different phases of that distillate that comes out. You've got heads, hearts, and tails. It's not going to be barreled. This would be stored in jugs just because of the small quantity that's coming off of the still. Uh, now, it's not moonshine. This is not illegal. Uh, this, is, this is just new make white whiskey. 